Hey, how's it going? <clears throat> Just waiting to get started. Got everybody here. Just a moment. And I got some ambient music now. has summoned him. Kyle. Yes. Kyle wait, wait, no. He, he doesn't know what No, to he do. can hear us. Kyle, He's Kyle. Stunned. There he is. Yes. <laughs> Kyle, you are right, buddy? Put it down. We so we were trying to decide if it was the best way to get your attention. Is it whipping a dick out or putting a foot up to the camera? And we decided the foot would work better. Uh, I'm a little busy at the moment, so <laughs> nothing is going to get my attention. Oh, challenge accepted. All right, boys. Challenge Line accepted. Them up. <laughs> Plus, not going to their eyes. Not going to lie. I have so many tabs open right now that Discord is so far in the background <laughs> that, you know, it should it really doesn't even need to be open, but I need it for my stream video. Are you, are you doing so all right? So what did buddy? we need Kyle for? I, I didn't even know what was going on. Wait, so um, the what was for nothing? Uh, yes. I don't even remember what I was going to ask him now. Damn, I almost climbed up on my weightlifting bench and showed you the goat and everything, dude. Damn. <laughs> Do you have He's a goat on winging. your ass? No, no, Kate. Oh, you're so, you're so sweet and naive. <laughs> you see me? I am here. Goat is... <sighs> don't, don't, don't explain it. Just is go really watch... Just the movie waiting. Yes, just um, go just watch the movie like... waiting. When you know something naughty and and I ask a question as innocent, it's as... exactly like it. Yes. Hicks, do you want to tell? Do you want to tell her to bing it? Yeah, just bing it. <laughs> I'm gonna ask Joe. No, Watch don't ask Joe. Watch the movie waiting. That's he doesn't know either. Do. Okay. So we should have he Crowler he here, and we should have Crowler here in just a few minutes. So. uh... Crowler. Let's go. Do we want to go ahead and get the recap going? Let me give it. I was asleep. <laughs> That's a wonderful recap. I appreciate it. A volunteer. Um, I yeah, was did asleep. He, know? he did or did not. Kaylee, he, he did or did not. He probably, he's if probably he, showing you. I swear to God, if, if he, I see Joe Ballsack, because he's showing you. <laughs> no, he, he's in the key. He'll show me later. Oh, yeah, you He'll will. He'll show you later. <laughs> my, my man. Ooh, whoa. Yeah. You're gonna wake oh, up man. to it. You're gonna wake up to it, you motorboat son bitch. You old sailor, you. The only way to do it is catch by surprise. I once stood up in the corner of my ex my ex wife's bedroom on our on top of her dresser for forty minutes waiting for her to get out of the shower. <laughs> wow. So she could walk in and see the goat at close the range. Goat. It was the That's, best. I we won't talk crouched. about the fact that she I just probably crouched. wasted seventy eight thousand gallons of water for taking a shower for forty minutes. All right. I actually take a shower for 40 minutes. She <laughs> just stood in there and dicked around on her cell phone and then got in the shower. Okay. So, uh, before we actually get started, does anybody need any changes? Like, uh, here needed to change the, uh, like, access to a character sheet. Is there anything else? Like, do you need additional lighting? What's got? What's up? I'd like to change my character class. Yeah? To what? I don't know. 
I didn't think I so far. I think the drama yeah, same, dude. dead. Oh. <laughs> That's harsh. I'm sorry, we got a low blow. <laughs> oh, no! The wound's barely 48 hours. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that too soon? Yes. So I'm sorry, Kix, was that too soon? Honestly, I'm surprised okay. it hasn't happened to any of us before. Well, no, I am. I am curious though. What what happened last week? Something oh right, here? Torn wasn't here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there either. Um. Wait, you were. Oh, the neither DM. was Kaylee. No, she was here. Eric, you were the DM. No, he no, said no, no. last week, as in the, the oh, session that he said, missed. I thought, I thought Eric was trying to say I didn't know like what happened, like how Kix died, and I was like, you were the DM. <laughs> you killed him. <laughs> No, uh, Auric killed him. All right, all right. Enough about that campaign. <laughs> we'll get, we'll be, I swear to God, if I die in this in this campaign, though, I'm stopping my computer. Hey, now. it's normal for somebody in their D and D lifetime to lose at least one I, character. I get it. I get it. Cool. Uh huh. Uh huh. Cool. I jumped into a bottomless pit. Once. It was an attack of opportunity, and he crit my exact HP. That's unfortunate. Not, not, not one over, not a thousand over, not one under, exact HP. Done. I love that Listen, you. so you just bring in, um, Dalton's lo long lost twin brother, Bolton. Bolton, who's... Uh, hey, Bolton. now, I'll have it's to re... Bolton. I'll have... No, I'll say that... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you can't have that name, because I already created a character that has that name. Um... All right, well, let's, what, let's what, do what some recap. Halton? Holton works. Sure, the two Ds, Colton. we call him Double D. Double <laughs> D. <laughs> All right. So yes. All right. So here's the recap. We'll, mm -hmm. do, a, we'll do a quick one. Um, we were still in the underground water cave thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we massacred a bunch of fish people. We threw them all into a burning, or sorry, a piranha pit before Grave showed up. Then we moved through that, met a couple more fish-related baddies. We offed them, and then we had to go down some waterfalls, um, killed uh, some occultists, and some water um, crab things, big old Mr. Crabs. Mm -hmm. um, then we moved down further, and Gooba, this Gooba. Is where we kind of came out to this opening here, and there is... Didn't what make like a stuff. killing shot from a bear's back oh, right, down yeah. the waterfall? So as we were trying to traverse down the waterfall, uh, Wub and Zuya were still on the top of the first waterfall, the, the large one. And Zuya rolled not so well, but Wubba nat 20 and he did this cool acrobatic ratatouille pulled on Zuya's bear ears to correct it in air, and they both landed safely. And now we're here with, it looks like, three gators and or crocodiles, depending on the salinity of the water. Um, <laughs> and whatever that small little creature thing is, and it looks like a water elemental. And here we are. Oh, and there's this big blue, uh, like this big... Uh, the water note. Thing. Yeah, water node thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As it's labeled in chapter five. Yes. And and that's and that's where we're at. And and that's where our adventure continues. Take it away, Kyle. Oh, I have permission to do this now? Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Uh, didn't you ask didn't you ask for a recap? I did. I'm just messing with you, bud. Oh, someone's raising his hand. I think uh, I think someone in class needs to say something. What? I have a question. What's up? Uh, in the art for the water node, is this chamber? Does it look like this? Yes. Oh, very pretty. Mm-hmm. Th that's basically what you're looking at. I the cavern at. to be like more, just kind of dark and grimy. Mm-hmm. This looks almost oceanic. You wouldn't be wrong on that. So it. That means we have a high count of salinity. So these are crocodiles. Yeah. Yes. Confirmed. Kyle, crocodiles. you've 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 played right into our hand. We know everything now. <laughs> dun dun dun. It's and just the fact that these crocodiles have huge tears. Let's make them cry. Just you know, for my stream. Here we go. That's what 
essentially they're looking at right now to make it easy on all of us. So to not fight these crocodiles, we just have to say after a while, crocodile, and walk away. That's sure. It. That's it. Go home. Done. Well, Done. Uh, and just to clarify, the smaller creature above standing underneath the largest of the uh, bubbles of water um, holding a trident that is identical to the one that was given to uh, Nimbus and uh, Torin, uh before is your good old pal Gar. That shattered keel, motherfucker. Yes. Uh, and he had just, or as you guys entered, he j uh, had just started a ritual that's causing the uh, center of this water node to swirl uh, except, or quickly um, while raising the trident above his head. Um, Hira attempted to uh, counterspell, yeah, uh, and failed. Uh, well, wouldn't it have been sick as fuck if I had succeeded? Oh, for sure. it, it, it sure would have. It, the DC's probably like 40. Like, I was that, have gotten was that male funny. voice or, or vaping voice? That was vaping voice. Okay. I know, I'd know that vaping voice anywhere. <laughs> yeah, no, if, if you succeeded, that would have been amazing. See, the fun thing is, is I can do both. <laughs> but, okay. So, and once again, and actually, let me do this real quick as we're getting started. Boop. Boop. Zoya in bear form. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not right now, but... Oh, you're not? No, because remember, I... I got out of bear form and, uh... Healed everybody. Right. Okay. So. Ah, uh, let me, uh, uh... I cannot see anything. Anything at all? Scroll down. You scroll down. It's toward the I, bottom I know. of the map. I know. Oh, that's weird. He's, he's blind. Bub is blind. I have sight now. You have sight now. Yes. Cool. Bubba, you just gotta open your eyes, buddy. <laughs> he just like pulls his shirt down. Oh God, I was blind. <laughs> Why didn't anybody help me? <laughs> he thinks he can't see because he's actually an inch and a half under the water. <laughs> like, anyone seen Wubba? <laughs> You just see a little tuft of hair floating in above this mohawk. Water? Is this water still like five feet deep? It's uh, at the moment it's about three and a half. Okay, so what is submerged? <laughs> no, is he, he that short? I thought he was no, like four he's, feet. Yeah, he's like three nine. Yeah. Three nine. He's got, he's got like his. Are we counting his ears? No. Is his is, are his ears counted in his height? Yes. Well, Careful then the ears. All you can see are the ears popping out of the water. If you see goblin ears too loud, motor car is going to show up and try to take them away from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, this is where I'm going to be calling for initiative. Well, my token's not clickable. I did it. Good news, Nimbus. You're the only one close enough oh, to get my, my initiative God. bonus. Hell yeah. So you get a plus four to your initiative. Your token is not clickable, Adron. Hold on. I see two of them. Oh. I'm good now. Okay. What the hell? I still I need... need... There's a drum, and I need Nimbus. Dirty 20. That 20 was dirty. It go was dirty. Go clean it. I can't. The die has been cast. How high up is that island that he's on? It stands about um, A million. 20 feet or 20 to 25 feet up. Uh, at the lowest point, it's 20 feet. At the highest, it's about 35. Okay. 
It did nope. not yet. You have to click the uh, your token in roll twenty, and then you can use. Um, Sir, I now. know how to use it. Oh, it's just I have a very old laptop that I cannot open one tab without it basically closing the other. <laughs> like, it unloads the other tab if I switch back and forth. That's so you're playing on like a T eighty three calculator. <laughs> basically. It's great. Oh, it's really I just saw it pop up. There it is. I I rolled for you. Oh. It's gonna be a fifteen with my bonus. Oh, nice. Okay, let me, uh... Set the oh, initiative. Alright! So! Oh, getting started. Let's pull up... Character sheet number one. Okay. How am I not in a square? You are in a I'm square. In what list? I'm like, a... like at a middle point. It's on my screen. I'm. You're inside there of a square. Go. Okay. So. It is uh, Mr. Shatterkeel's uh, turn, and he is going to be spending. This turn, continuing, uh, let's see, did I get Boris's initiative? No, I did not. It, it came out to be a 21. I don't know. I, it gave me the, uh, you wanted to send a result of this roll, but it turned tractor, but no valid token was selected. I had selected myself, but I was fucking around with getting my measurement. Okay. So, uh, he is going to spend his turn, uh, waving the, uh, trident around in a very, uh, you know, kind of almost dance-like, uh, motions, uh, as, and the chanting of this spell, um, is in a language that is very hard to decipher um or very difficult to decipher um he will move around the node as he continues this posturing um and situate himself as far back as he can uh continuing this uh chant and that will bring us to Mr. Torin. Hmm. So effectively, he's sort of moved out of sight, right? You can see him through the swirling pools, uh, but it's definitely a more difficult to get a good view. Makes sense. Um... Yeah, uh, Torin's not super jazzed moving forward. So instead, I'm going to point my fingers towards this uh, large beastie. It's a crocodile. Mm -hmm. uh, that is within my vision, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to pop off a Scorching Ray. Okay. Um. So that is one attack roll for each ray. Three rays. Okay, we got a 25. That one hits. And uh, rolling for the other two. Uh, another 25. That hits. And a 20. All three hit. Excellent. Damn, Pew, bro. pew, pew. And that's 2d6 per ray. Mm-hmm. I can't believe I've never used this spell before. Uh, let's, let's see. Seven. Seven. Can I get lucky? Please. Ah, so close. 
So 22 damage. Still awesome. All right. So the uh, moss on the back of this uh, crocodile erupts into flame um, as the three rays make contact and uh, bash its or with its uh, body, um, and the lovely smell of uh, fried gator. Um, or broiled gator, uh, starts, uh, <clears throat> aromatically just filling this large chamber, and it doesn't see the light of the next day. Well, yes. Nice. So that was, what, 22 damage total? Yes, sir. Okay. I was afraid that it wasn't going to... <laughs> Meat is back on the menu. So that was a standard action? Uh, that was that was my, my action. All right. And so... Or yeah, sorry, action. So you still have bonus and movement. Want to do anything with them? I'm going to sit tight. Uh, this is difficult terrain, right? Three feet? Yeah. Four. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to sit tight and see what happens. All right. Hira. Okay. Move up to here. And... Do, do, do. I'm going to cast Crusader's Mantle. Okay. So, um... As you begin... Casting this spell... Um... The uh, large elemental uh, rears its uh, watery hand and is going to uh, take a smack at you with it. That's going to be a 29 to hit. That hits. Ooh. Yikes. Nice temporary hit points. That's uh, math. That's a grand total of 12 damage. I still have one temporary hit point to spare. Easy, boys. And, and gonna... let's see. Crusader's Mantle. Sir, concentration up to a minute. Holy power radiates from you in 30-foot radius. Weaken, we, awakening boldness and friendly creatures until the spell ends. It's centered around you. Okay. So you guys are going to want to get within 30 feet of me if you want to do some extra damage. <laughs> Maybe damage. That's yes. it. We're all going stabby stabby. Apollo. Does, hold on. Most, mostly that means that? like. Blub. Well, hello, oh. Apollo. Doggy. Anyways, I'm gonna use my bonus action to compel duel on Greer, whatever his fist fuck his name is. Gar, like the bitch. Gar. That's cool. Nice thinking, Miss Hira. Can you link the actual spell for me? Because it says compel ghoul. What? Like, what did you say? Compel duel. I just linked it. Okay. I don't see the uh, the rest of the link. All I see is the DC save. You don't see the description? I do, but not the name of name of it. That's why I, I was asking, because it sounded like you said compel ghoul, not compel duel. Compelled duel. Okay, for the duration. That's what, that's what happens when I click the spell. So you attempt to compel a creature into a duel. One creature you that you see within range. So he is kind of difficult to see where he is being stationed up in that platform. Like, like I said, he's about 25 feet above where you're standing right now. So oh. you would be looking at the bottom of a rock. Okay. Shit, so I can't use that. Not yet. Not yet, at least. <laughs> okay, well then I'll use my bonus action to pull our master, this little bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that little bitch. 23 is gonna hit. I need water, though. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to do anything. Though. As you uh, use the butt of your uh, pole arm, 
uh, it kind of sloshes through the water. But it does, uh, it does leave a little bit of an indention inside of its, uh, lower, uh, whirl. Um, but again, it just kind of quickly reforms around, uh, as you retrieve your halberd. Mr. Boris. So like I said, this is difficult terrain. Um, with the three feet of water. So you're I would say just take ten feet off of your movement. Okay. Instead of halving it completely. Right now. Just use all of my action to double my movement. Because Make it a full swim, <laughs> stagger through the water. Okay. All right. So, that's going to bring us to the uh, water elemental. Um, and I'm going to need a uh, strength saving throw from Hera. Uh, all right. You save. Uh, as this water elemental kind of rages around you, the uh, water at the base of it starts uh, swirling faster and is seemingly like trying to push you off uh off balance, but you're able to uh, <clears throat> resist it. Um, but it is going to uh, bring its two uh, watery fists down on to Hira's head. Um, and so that's going to be a 21 and an 18. The, eight, the 18 doesn't hit, but the 21 does. Okay. Let's see. That's going to be seventeen damage. Um, and it is going to stay put and continue uh violently stirring the water around him the this crocodile back here is going to move slightly closer into the deeper parts of the water and then submerge itself um and then You see a very shadowy figure uh, swim off in the opposite direction of your party. All right. A drum. All right. I am going to... Um, how long has it been since um, the fight with the crabs? We took a short rest, so everything's... Oh, okay. It was... Mm -hmm. Never mind then. Um, okay, so I'm going to cast Hex on our Water Elemental dude as a bonus action. Okay. Um... And then I am going to do some Eldritch Blasting. Did it appear so I started when... started blasting. Yeah. 
uh, I was gonna say did it appear like the thing was resistant to fire, but he shot an alligator or a crocodile. Um, so instead, I'm going to uh, I'll just blast this first water dude thing. Okay. And does a dirty twenty hit? The elemental, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. and what type of damage is your oh. eldritch blast again? It is, uh, force damage. Okay. Perfect. Um, so twenty hits. Mm-hmm. Nineteen points of damage. Okay. And for a second hit. Yikes. 13 points of damage. Where was the uh, damage roll for the first, or for the second attack? Or the, oh, uh, uh, the attack roll? My bad, sorry. 15 hit. The 15 does not. Okay, so ignore the last 13. And then he's going to move. It's a complement of 20. And that will be his turn. All right. So as you fire off your Eldridge Eye Blasts, um, one of them kind of veers off and fires right over uh, here his head. Uh, and the second one, or I'm sorry, the first one hits uh, the shoulder, seeing as it's facing here at the moment. Um, and you, there's a uh, mist of water that uh, erupts from its shoulder and it quickly reforms into place. Uh, and then the second blast kind of uh, fires over here his head and uh, breaks off uh, part of the uh, pillar that's holding up this uh, node. Oh, and Constitution for the... Okay. Yeah. All right. And that brings us to Sir Nimbus. All right. So I had a quick question before I started doing anything. Uh, Crusader's mantle, would that also affect Nimbus hurting himself? <laughs> um... Hostile non-hostile creature in the area when the aura um because she can't be hostile to her herself him can't be hostile to nimbus yeah <laughs> so do you, do you actually stab yourself like do you hit yourself with a weapon attack he when you do when you take to, damage yes he has to hurt himself physically in order to activate his blood rights then judging by the way the spell reads you would take the extra damage yeah pretty point <laughs> but he's not doing it not really He's cutting himself, but not in a hostile act. That's not what it means. Not hostile against well, the caster. I'm making a DM roll and saying no. Okay. Okay, sweet. Um. Then my second question is, the water elemental, does it seem to be hostile towards Nimbus? Looking at him funny. Yeah, everyone's hostile towards this water elemental. It don't think it doesn't want you to be here. Right, right, right. So he'll go on with his his usual. Um, actually, actually, no, he won't because I had uh, say say I wanted to. Here, does does that does that work? Did that say I wanted to use this on it? What a. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, it's I can. create or destroy water. Would that technically work for it? Or... So, if it was a smaller elemental, it depends on what level you're trying to cast it at. Because you would have to, like, because it's 10 gallons at first level, 10 gallons per additional level that you cast it at. Right. So if you cast it at, say, a level question mark. 
because it was cast at second level. Yeah. So, does this water thing weigh 20 gallons? <laughs> it seems like it has a lot more than 20 gallons of water in its body. Are you fat shaming this water elemental? <laughs> wow, Kyle. Okay. Wow. Water weight, man. <laughs> Does nice. this elemental count as being a living creature, though? Mm, yeah. I mean, one all right, all right. Water, you lazy found, so. All right. Th those are my questions for that. Um. Anyway, <laughs> so he's gonna he's gonna go ahead and hurt himself to activate his crimson ray. Uh. Let me. He suffers the 1d4. Right on. Uh, and then he's gonna use his movement to go right up to the boy. And then he's gonna start slashing. Hold on. I got this. I'll be right up there with him. Okay. You about to one shot this bitch? I'm about to fucking kill myself. Um, with you. <laughs> I fucking hope not, dude. It'd be so fucking weird. All right. Uh, so he's got two hits. Did that? Did that roll? All right, gotta, twenty-three like, hits. Back. All right, sweet. Uh, he'll hit it again because he has two. Twenty-five hits. Sweet. Uh, so that's. This. And that. Okay. Uh, so. And that's plus the. Do I do the crimson right twice since I rolled twice? Yes. Alright. Disadvantage uh, to constitution. Total of that. And the DC is 15, so that's one save. And two saves against Necrotic. So. We'll do. Half of. Let me. I need a calculator. <laughs> Your phone has one. One somewhere. All right, so yeah, seven is three point five. That's the question. All right, so that's gonna be. This is the best calculator I've ever owned. I have one of those. <laughs> it's really useful. It's a TI eighty six X Pro. It's the actual I one it. I have for math class. I right prefer the TI eighty four plus because I'm able to uh, go out all so sorts of vectors. I just do whatever math I need to on my calculator, and I use Desmos graphing calculator online for free. There we go. Yeah, in reality, I own a TI-83+, and I only played games on it. That was before <laughs> cell phones were a thing. All right. Blockman, Drug Wars, Snake, and... Snake. Oh, there was one more. You're savvy. You know the weirdest thing about water. Drug Wars? Is Yo, Drug know. Wars was one of the greatest games ever. So you can walk into the gas station and buy weed here. All right. So your uh, rapiers uh, don't seem to do as uh, much damage as your, you know, with the two good jabs you gave. Um, it doesn't seem to do as much damage as you're quite used to. Um, the uh, necrotic uh, energy in the... Uh, Rapier does go off, um, and you see this kind of black ichor flow up through the water, but it's quickly dispersed into the rest of the pool around um, around the lot of you, and your Crimson Reich does go or go off as well, um, seemingly dealing m uh, more damage than uh, your rapier did. The actual jab. Um... Mr. Crocodile in the back here is going to lumber himself off of the shore underneath uh, Gar and again disappear underwater. So fucking fast. 
Uh, fuck, boy. This boy's dead, so he's out of turn order. All right, so that brings us to Wubba Lubba Kenai. All right, double check. I'm going to move over down yonder. Now you're all going to pay. Wubba's here. <laughs> and then that crocodile left, so um, I'm going to use my bonus action to move my still active uh, hunter's mark onto the elemental here. Okay. And I'm gonna start blasting. Start shooting. Action. Gently wait for a while to get death rolled. Oh no. <laughs> a little morsel. 18 and 25 hits. Nice. That. That. And then, um, I will add, I will add my, uh, Hunter's Mark to both of those. Doo -doo -doo. So that's, um, I believe Hunter's Mark does what kind of damage again? Just adds your, pier or adds to piercing damage. It's just accuracy. If I uh, remember no, it. One of my bonus damages is force. But that's from your swarm, isn't it? My swarm is piercing. Mm. Hunter's mark. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, it just does uh, whatever kind of damage. It looks like it just mimics whatever damage of the weapon that I used. So piercing as well. Um. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it just says it deals an extra d6 damage, so I would assume it just mimics whatever weapon you used. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's all piercing. Cool, cool. So, let's see. And then I will throw on my, um... Oh, you're good, Vicky. No worries. Ooh. Using my piercer feature, I'm going to re-roll that damage die. Nice. Going with hey! What does your swarm look like this time? Twelve... Wasps. Always wasps. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Team. Basically, picture just like a bunch of bee drills. Heck yeah. Big Dick Bee. Big Dick Bee. I so, think every time I see bee drill. You do place uh, two well aimed shots through the. Uh... God damn it, Kaylee. <laughs> it just popped up for me, and I was like, ooh, what does this do? So, uh, you do aim pretty well, and it slides through the elemental, and it does leave a nice, or two nice holes through the, uh, back, uh, shoulder of this elemental, uh, but they quick quickly, uh, reform into, uh, a solid mass of water. Jazzy. How much did I do right there? Jazz, jazz. Six, it was a uh, 30, 36, 38, 42. I don't, I'm using a calculator, so I don't know where you got that. 12, 14, 6, 4, and 6. Yeah, but you re rolled one of those damage dies, so you will, like you would minus that 4, right? You would get rid of that no. 4. No, uh, you take away the 1, because I re rolled the 1, not the 4. How are you getting three strike or three hits of Hunter's Mark if you only hit once? There's only two hits. There's one hit of Hunter's Mark and two hits of um my uh, or no, there's one hit of my Gathered Swarm and two hits of my Hunter's Mark because Hunter's Mark hits every time I hit with an attack on the target. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Man, he's out. And um, the gathered swarm I rerolled because of my piercer. Okay. My free beans, girl. Get down. <laughs> <laughs> free the beans. All right. So that brings us to Zuya. 
Ah, shit, I forgot to set the timer, so I guess you're getting an extra minute of this shit. Alrighty. That's what I wanted. mouse is being stupid he's going to move there then he's going to do a delicious little item mm-hmm oops I think it did, just did that twice it did all right I am doing that right over our little mr. gar what is that why the hell did it? It only sent me the, the, the number. Mm hmm. How do I send you the whole thing? It's probably because it's not clicked as a spell card. It's just a spell attack. It's a how do I... plague, but. Yeah, how do I send the whole card? Um, let me see if I can look it up for you and do it. I believe this is can... VTT. Yeah, it's yeah. set to that. Well, no, there's two separate buttons. You have one that's cast on VTT and display on VTT when you actually click the spell. Yeah, I hit dis display. Did it come up? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's see. Fifth level spell. One action. Three feet. Sure, concentration. So you're gonna have to concentrate on that spell. Swarming, biting locust in a 20-foot radius center of the sphere you choose within within range. The sphere spreads around corners. The sphere remains in duration. It's obviously it's obscure, difficult terrain. When the when the area appears, each creature must make a Constitution saving throw. Each creature is okay. With half as much damage on a successful one. The creature must also make a saving throw when he enters the spell's area for the first time. Okay. So, where are you putting it? Right centered above Gar. Again, he's 20 feet up, so you can't really see him. It to doesn't... put it... you If you want to put it above him, you would have to be able to like pinpoint exactly where he is, that's what I'm saying. Because it doesn't you get... say anything about needing to see exactly where... So you're just putting it in a random spot up there. Got it. Yeah, it's, it's inferred that you have to be able to see where you're putting it, otherwise it's like, how do you know where you're putting it? Yeah, so that's what I'm saying, it's like... But... Well, if he puts it here, I, it says it goes say, around corners. You say, you say we can see him enough. I'm not... Not targeting him directly, I'm targeting the area around him. Yeah, it's AOE 20-foot so, radius. Yeah, it's a 20-foot radius, so I'm not... Like, I could understand... To targeting him, but I'm doing a circle around him. You know what I mean? But you have to know where he is to put a circle around him. I think is what Keith is trying to say. And Keith has said we could see him through the mist, but I. Right, but have you ever stood or had someone stand up on top of or up on top of something, and you start moving closer and closer to them, especially if they're on the uh, back I'm, of something? I can understand if I was where here it is. But I'm far enough back that I can still see him. Even if he can't see him, he could still target a spot up top, and it says 20 foot radius that that's the spreads, whole top. The sphere spread spreads around corners. So basically, if he says up there as just a space, because that guy could technically have just moved off, we don't know. But if he places it like here, which is like the top of the the rock, wouldn't that go 20 feet out in all directions? Yeah. And if the guy's there, he's there. It's a uh, yeah, 20 so... foot uh, radius, not a 20 foot diameter. Oh. That makes yeah, it so... fucking massive. It makes it even bigger. Yeah. I say, then it literally would go like 20 feet around the whole orb. Yeah, it would like cover the entire island. So I guess it doesn't really matter where you put it. it was... I just realized looking at it, I was like, oh shit, that's a radius, not diameter. Yeah, not yeah. diameter, yeah. That's stupid. Five years. Okay, so crazy. I'll I'll target the orb and figure hopefully he's in it. 
Does that work better for you? Because that's more directed where it's going to cover him and not um, targeting him directly. Yep, that'll work. Okay. Because yeah. that's it's kind of what I'm saying and kind of what you're saying and Wait, me concentration not targeting up to, him. Up to ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Yep. The, the one so... problem is the you one break problem is going to be that. lightly lightly obscured now. So even if he did pop out, we wouldn't really. We have a. Uh, I mean, we increased. couldn't really get him from where we are anyway. Yeah, I'm just saying there's going to be a little bit more. And it's difficult that. terrain, so he can't move that fast or that far. So the DC was what? 13? Constitution? 13, yeah. Yep. Okay. And so on a s successful save, it takes half, and on a full save, it takes the entire so 19, 19 damage. Yep. Okay. And wrong button. That's a shame for four Wait, ten though. But this this thing only makes does the damage once though, right? No, it does it for every turn that the person start or either enters <laughs> or starts its turn in there. Oh yeah. shit, bro. So the whole minute the whole time he's in there. The only problem is, well, none of us can get in the aisle on there, so yeah. you guys well, are safe. Well, we could climb up, but then we'd, yeah. we'd be getting damage, too. I, yeah, mm. I think some of us may have been planning to climb up there, but I... Whatever, finish off the but I could stop I... Com I could stop concentrating at that point. Yeah. yeah. And you also have to remember things that... Or if you're concentrating on this spell, if you get damaged Attack. or anything, yep, yeah. it will affect it. You have to make a... Uh, a concentration check. Con yep. But there's yep. not actual... What's the concentration DC? Oh, it's... You have to... The DC is your, uh... I thought it was a constitution saving throw. Yeah, okay, it's a... Ability. It's a constitution saving throw, and you have to beat half the damage that is done to you. So if someone okay. deals 30 damage to you, you would have to beat 15, 15 on the DC. Yeah. It's just crazy. Well, it there'd just have to be those... something to attack me specifically, which... Right now, there isn't. Right. Yeah, it just so happens those gators are are uh, concentration Left. concentration homing gators. So you right. got to get out of the water, bro. So <laughs> sh I should have had to make some saving throws then, right? Anyone that has a concentration up, yeah. Because I'm I, I have my crusader's mantle up. Mm, yeah, you would have I to mean, make a concentration my, check. My base con plus the constitution saving throws is an eight, and you haven't done like 16 damage to me so like i would automatically make it you still want me to roll we're not gonna retcon a roll um just but next time we'll okay. remember so getting pelted by this swarm um the chanting that's emanating through the entire room roll damage it uh oh yeah yeah you did okay. i already did yes uh is going to continue through um the swarm um and he must be making his checks then too i'm sure he has really good ability there we go he's gonna tuck himself around the uh closer to the orb it's not gonna, not gonna stop the insect plague though, right? We'll see. No, as long as he stays within that circle. Yeah. We'll see. But, oh well, yeah, unless he does something to me or, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's got plans. Torin. Me. Hmm. Well, well, well. What to do? Is there any way that I could be on the lookout for those gators? You said they've completely submerged, but... You can vaguely see some, uh... Whenever the one over here dunked under, you could see a vague shadow, and same as this one uh, submerged itself as well. So there is, depending on how deep they are, there is a, uh... A, uh... Mm. There's a shadow. So 
I'm going to move um, forward a little bit. Let's see, 5, 10, and 15. Uh, and hopefully, yes, right here on this space. Hold on, that wasn't clicking correctly. Okay. Uh, this space right here. I am going to cast Shatter. All right. It's a 10 foot sphere. Um, and all I need is a constitution save. On which? Oh, can you mark it again? Uh, the one with the blue dex. Okay, so, so 10 foot around it. Yes, uh, moving. I guess if I wanted to be extra specific, um, this central point right here. Okay. Damn. So. You a bitch. And hopefully, if anything's in there, it needs to make a, uh, a constitution throw of a DC 17. All right. So, uh, the... We do have a handy-dandy circle button now instead of a... You don't have to do a square. Um, I thought it was a square though. Mm -mm. Here. No, words do not have radii. The uh, so as the uh, earth erupts, um, from underneath the water, and now there's uh, you know, bits of rock and um, gravel that are sitting uh, above the water surface, um. Seems like you missed. Well, shoot. This is worth a shot. Pew pew. Well, with that, I'll end my turn. Right? Like throwing dynamite, trying to fish. <laughs> Brings us to Miss Hira. Ring Does that of, hit? Ring of the Ram. You gave it to me a long time ago. I haven't, I haven't thought to use it until now. So, that hits. Can I expend multiple charges? I think it's only one charge. Does it say you can expend multiple charges, or is it just one? Let me go look. Um, the ring has three charges and it gain, regains 1d3. You can use an action to expend one, two, three of its charges. You okay. One creature you can see within 50 feet. On a hit, for each charge you spend, the target takes 2d10. So you can I can spend multiple charges. Okay. So. Can I expend all of them? That's up to you. Take 32 oh damage, bitch! Well, I guess, unless it's, he doesn't like force damage. He might be resistant to that. But. Okay. So, I will need a... Uh, Ring of the Ram, doesn't that make you charge? Doesn't say so. Let's see. Just says you can expend one to three of its charges to attack one creature you can see within sixty feet of you. Mm -hmm. Create like a, oh, okay. Can be used to create a ram like shape shape. Yeah, okay. So Mm-hmm. 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 When did you get that? A uh, long time ago. I just kept forgetting about it. Like that and I just kept using like my halberd instead. Before we had half the people we have now. <laughs> yeah, I got, I, got, I got it a long time ago. Alright, so... As you kind of remember this ring on your finger, you kind of point it in the direction of the water elemental, and a, uh... ethereal, uh, ram just kind of... poofs and charges through the, uh, water elemental, and, uh, there's a heavy splash... Um, as it charges through it, um, leaving a 
large hole um, in the base of this elemental, temporarily, temporarily making it look like it has legs. Um, and then uh, quickly the water forms back into the uh, lower whirl of this elemental. Um, and uh, this is where I will need a... Or, uh, no, we're good right now. Can... Does it? Alternative, I you can... I, can't, I, I can't use a Divine Smite with it, can I? It's, I... Not, a, it's not a melee, it's not like a melee weapon attack. It's not attack. a weapon attack. Yeah. yeah, it's not a weapon attack. Well, I can use my bonus action, the Full Arm Master, for, for a little extra damage, maybe. I can't believe that, that can you can do that damage from 60 feet away. I've never used it before. That is so awesome. I keep forgetting about it! Oh my god. And it pushes them five feet away per charge I used to, so I could like send somebody flying if I wanted to. Yeesh. Okay. I keep forgetting about it! Someone's not paying attention to their Twitch. No, not me. Thanks for that. No, yeah. <laughs> wah, wah, I don't wah. get an email that yours is on. It's okay, I understand. All right, so it does get uh. Screaming because of his campaign. Keith, shouldn't you be speaking in Mayo's voice? Yes, you totally should be speaking in Mayo's voice. I just got it. You saw you didn't go full five minutes when I redeemed the mic. It's not five minutes; it's three. But you, she got an extra bonus, so it should have been four. When did it? Because you I gave didn't. Gave her an extra minute because you didn't start the timer. Yeah, so I did the four minutes. Thank you. I have a timer right here, so. Uh, Somebody else said it. It did get pushed 15 feet or 15 feet away. So, uh, Th thanks, Hira. <laughs> you totally screwed us. My bad. I was just trying to do damage. <laughs> You're, uh, oh, Hira, oh, Hira's never used it before, so she wasn't expect. She didn't wasn't expecting what it did. So she just went, yeah, pushed oh. it close to another people. And it just went flying, and she went, oh shit. <laughs> the uh, pull arm attack does not hit. Yeah, he's not there anymore. I'm gonna look at right. that Wubba. Uh, things just got Why? interesting. <laughs> Here, Hero's gonna kind of look at them and go. <laughs> Basically, pushed him in front of a firing line. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, All right. His turn comes before any of yours, so he's probably gonna either move towards one of you or come at me. That brings us to Boris. <laughs> oh, Boris is like the turtle in like the race with the hair. He finally I'm got sorry. up to it. He finally got up, caught up, and then they... Oh. <laughs> sorry, buddy. Friends can be boring. <laughs> what's this? <clears throat> what's the rock ahead of me look like? So it's uh, heavily covered in moss, but it's e it uh, rises above the water surface, at, uh, but it's quickly uh, being covered by water. Um, but yeah, did you uh, did you see the handout of what the, of what this little plateau looks like? Not. He was asleep. I was. Asleep. So go into your journal, and it should be labeled Chapter Five Water Node. Just click and pull open that image. I know I'm concentrating, but would I be able to yell at him to not climb it? Or would I, am I concentrating too much? With concentration, it's a little different than uh, Pathfinder, where concentration doesn't end whenever you cast smaller level spells, but you would have to... Uh, like, if you cast another 5th level spell, it would end. But if you cast, like, a cantrip or a 1st level spell, it does not end. So, but I could, like, yell at him not to climb it if I see him climbing it. Yes. I don't even understand how to climb that right now, so don't worry about that. I'm just, just waiting for you to watch you climb it. I'm going to yell, don't climb it. I have something going on or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what, what we're going to do. I was just trying to figure out a way to get him to stop casting whatever he's casting. It's 
to dig through my pack and call it my turn as I try to figure out a rope or something to climb up there with. Okay. All right. So, this lumbering elemental, frustrated with the situation, if it could feel any emotions, is going to, uh, you'll notice the water around him begins to move uh, even quicker inside of a locate, or in, around it, and it surges. Oop, let me get rid of that to right here oh shit well i'm trying to get it right there if you could hear me screaming <laughs> gurgle 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 <laughs> and as it surges over the two of you i'm gonna need strength saving throws oh, yes sir with a whopping zero modifier uh-oh, Spadudios. Uh -oh. No, come on. It happens again. So. Let's find out what happens. I'm sorry, friends. You've ruined it all! I'm gonna haunt your asses. <laughs> Especially Nimbus. Seven. <laughs> Well, that was a waste of my only fifth level spell. Why? So, 20 uh, points of damage for the both of you. Um, how many? 20 points. So, I do need a concentration check from Zulia. And the DC is 10. Um, so, what, what, do I, what do I roll? A constitution saving throw. Okay. And you have to beat a DC of 10. Done. Not by much, but done. Okay, so you maintain concentration on your spell, but the two of you are sucked into the vortex of the elemental and now are inside of its belly. So let me go ahead and... I'm sorry! You are the worst here. <laughs> <laughs> and so this would be a very f unfortunate time for the two of you had Wub not cast water or breathe water on you prior so you are not drowning you can fight him from the inside I give a thumbs up to Wub from the inside <laughs> <laughs> right I start reaching for my dagger I'm gonna cut my way out of here <laughs> oh shit! Dude, just fireball him from the inside. He just uh, puffs up. I'd rather boil not that boil water. myself alive. Oh, yeah. Don't hit Zuya. Don't hit Zuya. I don't even think you need to roll to hit if you're inside something. Yeah. Evolve that water elemental into a <laughs> paper elemental. Alright, so there's that. Brings us to a drum. So that's a thing. If I do damage to the water elemental, does it hurt them inside of it? Possibly. Don't hit them. Uh, Jose, I mean, if you don't hit them, I don't see why it would. Find out. Come on, show your true colors to drop. Get good. <laughs> Fuck around and find out. Yeah, I was uh, just about to say it. A drum. He, he's bigger than ten gallons. Don't worry, right? There is a decent amount of space that is not being actively filled by Torin and Zuya's forms, but they are being swirled up and down through its center or the center of its body, like as if they were in a whirlpool, uh, just above the water. All right, I don't Fun, know if this right? is gonna work, and I don't want to say this just because the last time I said this it didn't end up well, but I'm gonna do a daring act <laughs> and walk up to this guy. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and I'm going to cast Shock and Grasp. A third level spell, and I'm not going to RP it until yes, I know electrocute it hits. the water guy with our buddies inside of him. Do it. Yeah, no, thanks. It's, it's, no, it's a joke because in another campaign, I play wizard, and the other way I could do damage is by walking in the melee, and I was just Shock and Grasp. 
Jesus. And I eat shit half the time because I'm, I'm a wizard in melee. So, it is going to take a, uh... Let's see. Is that one of its abilities? Nope. Never mind. Uh... The inflict wounds does not make contact as your hand just reaches into the base of its, uh, the lower part of its whirl and it just, you kind of submerge your hand in it and the spell just dissipates through it. Um, now I do need a strength saving throw from you. Great. That's, that's one of my, that's getting one of my best. But it's easier to shoot out of the bad guy than into the bad guy with my friends. Say that one more time. Okay, you succeed. You uh, feel the water begin to like uh, pull you, uh, trying to pull you inside of uh, its form along with your companions, uh, but does not succeed. Um, how bad did um, those guys look when they got injured? I still have a bonus action. It looked like it did some damage. Um, you know, there's a few cuts and bruises. Um, I'm going to heal uh, Torn for 3d6. Wow. And I'll roll that right now. And I can't even protest. <laughs> Uh, actually, do I get? I might get a boost to healing. Oh wait. Oh wait. Um, I have favored by the gods. Uh huh. Once per short rest, if you fail a saving throw or miss with an attack, you can roll a two d four and add it to the total, possibly changing the outcome. Never used that before. But I would like to do that on my uh, inflict wounds. So, so instead of eleven, I roll a two d four and it adds it to the total. I'm not much into retconning a roll on an ability that you know. Okay, then I won't use it. Got it. Understood. But remember that for next time, next turn. My next third level slot to do that. <laughs> It's only a third level. To, oh, it's only for third levels, or is it by anything for anything? No, it's for anything. But that's one of my two third level slots. Okay. Um. So that. Oh, is... that's how that's how I felt about my counter spell. I was just like, oh, there goes my third level spell slot. It's okay. That is um, just that healing. I don't see any extra. All right. And that brings us over to Senior Nimbus. Senior, senior, senior Nimbus. Sorry, question. Um, would my Ring of the Ram have used the Crusader's Mantle? Like, would that have done? Or is it only. I, re I think it's only for weapon attacks. Never mind. Only for weapon attacks. It's also new. Kira doesn't know what's happening. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Could he potentially use shape water to push uh, his friends out of the water elemental? <laughs> Give me an attack or two attack rolls for it. Oh, <laughs> uh, using using his his regular uh, rapier or just a d twenty. You have a spell modifier, don't you? Oh, you right, you right. Hold up. Let me let me get this out of here. How do I check spell? 
it would be over your in your spell sheet or a right like on your character sheet if you click on spells it's going to be up at the top like it'll say modifier spell attack and save dc yes nah i don't see that anywhere what are you talking about where, the, where your list of spells are am i blind i might be blind hold up I, you glitched out, and I, I thought you said blonde, and I was about to say yes. Um, you have wow. actions, spells, you and do not have, and traits. She doesn't Nim have it. Yeah, I, Nimbus does not have. I see nothing, though. Yeah, so. It's, that's it's only weird. got the man trip in the second level. So it looks like that that's just a raw, D, raw D20 for you. Okay, yeah. Because those are just, like, his innate abilities that he can do. Right. Because of Hunter Genasi. Yeah. Wow. That's, I'm like, uh... <laughs> yeah. All right. So, fun fact, I was thinking about next turn using my Channel Divinity and turning, oh. you know, elementals. And then I remembered what happened last time I did that in how Torn almost drowned. So, I won't do that. Come on, then. of drowning. Oh, they're just Ooh. both straight tens. <laughs> Yeah, but it would make the water elemental run the fuck away. Like, and you guys would be inside of it. You'd just be like... So? Saving our lives. Uh, Nimbus, uh, in a very, uh, waterbender-esque way, um, begins weaving some, uh, water around in his hands and shoots it towards the elemental, and it splats against one of the whirls and completely dissipates. Or both of them do. Um, yeah, no, that was... That was just his action. Yeah. Uh... So, I guess, like, with that, he's just gonna... He's gonna shrug and start, just start walking away from it. Just, he's just gonna start walking away from it. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna just walk this way more towards like the edge of the swarm. Okay. Or whatever the hell this circle is. And yeah, it's the swarm. Yeah. And I think, I think that's the end of his turn. Okay. I don't think he can cast a real step right now since he used his uh his other mojos. So yeah, that's that's it. That's the end of his turn. Okay. So, as, um, or continuing to move forward, uh, one of the crocs that, uh, submerged itself into the water is going to, uh, pop its nose up immediately behind Wub. What's happening? No. And try to nom him. Oh, fuck, dude. He's just a little nugget. That's gonna be a 20 against your AC, Wub? Yep. Okay. On. Reduced to atoms. So, chomp. That is 10 damage. At, and uh, it's going to, uh, seeing as with your size versus his, uh, or versus its, it's going to hold on uh, to you as with its mouth, um, if un unless you can succeed a dexterity or a strength saving throw to All avoid right. being grappled. You're about to what we'll pick. Good save. So, the croc comes up behind you and snaps, um, and 
its two front fangs uh, uh, scratch your back, but it startles you enough that you're able to kind of dart um, and avoid being uh, completely nommed. And that brings us to Wub's turn. All right. As a bonus action, I am going to disengage. I'm going to go over here, and then I'm going to use my regular movement to go right here. Okay. So that would uh, call... You need a, uh, what is it, constitution for the uh, swarm? I thought it was 20 feet in the air. It's a 20-foot radius. Where the orb is. Do you see how big the circle is, bud? That's it. Is it in a, yeah, is it a sphere or a circle? I thought it was just a circle. You know how rain works? It falls down into a sphere. This, this is not rain. These are circling insects. Here. <sighs> Twenty foot radius in all directions. Mm-hmm. Okay, then I will end my movement there instead. Okay. Alrighty. And so, disengage was your bonus. You have your yep. movement. And then I'm going to attack the water elemental. Gotcha. Twenty nine hits. The fifteen does not. Alright. 12. D6 for my Hunter's Mark, and a D6 from my uh, Gathered Swarm. Is that just additional damage now, or is that... What? The get, like, if I thought you would, or... Uh, when I read the or Gathered Swarm, it's a bonus action to do the next damage, is it not? Nope. Once on each turn. Storm, let's just see this. Each of your turns. Okay. Yep. Doesn't require. Alright. So that is 9 plus 12, 21. Alright. I do know how to run the character. I'm not saying you don't. I'm just double checking on doing my job as a DM. Yep. Thank you, Reagan. Uh, my name's John. <sighs> <laughs> I quit. I'm done. But you're done. All right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Take it back. Daddy, don't get angry. Zuya. Well, I don't think I'm moving anywhere. You did say I could do a cantrip while concentrating, right? Or not. Just for clarification. You can try to end the grapple on your turn, but it takes your action. And yes, to no. clarify, is like you have to... Uh, uh, as long as you're not taking any damage, the concentration ends and you are able to cast minor spells. Yes, I can, unless... What? What? The way you just said that confused me. I'm sorry. Yes, you can cast minor spells. You know, uh... Without ending your concentration. Okay. And you can al also use your action to escape the grapple. But if you use that, that uses. If you do that, that ends. That uses your action. Okay. Will escaping the grapple do any damage, or will the like? Will I take any damage trying to do any of that? 
you get the feeling that staying in this for another turn will do more damage than trying to get out. Oh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get out. What do I need to roll to get out of here? Strength save. I thought you said a drink save. <laughs> get chugging, wow. Zuya. Right? <laughs> Come on, baby, roll good for me. Good luck. Fuck me! I think that's what the elemental intends to do. Right? <laughs> no. It was on fucking 18. Oh. Alright. Well, I guess it's good that you're ready, soaking wet. I'm always wet. Don't stop. I'm sobbing. Oh, wow. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Alright. So, Zulia, that's your action to try to escape. You have a bonus left, but you cannot move. Have a good night, Vicky. What can I do with my bonus right now? Anything that's listed in your uh, bonus oh. action part of your page. That's not much. I have one thing. Oh, you're so sweet. I appreciate it. Now I'll, I'll escape with only an ounce of my sanity left, thanks to these guys. Heh. <laughs> Alright. Um, I shift in the bear. Oh. <laughs> okay. Shit. Just got real. So. <laughs> this. As you uh, shift into your bear form. The. Uh, <laughs> shifting into bear. The. Uh. rain or the uh water elemental is no longer able to hold the massive weight and torin you get pushed out as well hell yeah Aww. very nice get it you just got farted out bro <laughs> and that brings us to gar yeah, but now he can still do his spell and not take damage. And so the swarm ends whenever you shift? Uh... I don't know. Quick double check, double check. I can't do spells in animal form, but am I still concentrating in animal form? It's a con it's already up. It means you wouldn't be able to cast it. If I'm still concentrating in bear form, I don't see why it still wouldn't be up. Okay. If that's a your call thing. Alrighty. I might say in the tra transform menu. You seem to be set points at this. Bear form doesn't seem it's... to break concentration on a spell you've already cast. Yeah, you can't yeah. cast spells. But if it's already cast... Yeah, it's... It, it, yeah, it does not break just concentration. Said. Page 67 in the handy dandy player handbook. You just linked the pertinent part. So... He does suc or succeed in the concentration check, if you want to roll some damage for the uh, swarm, seeing as he's starting his turn in it. Okay. It's... Nice. 
placed. Not bad, not great, but not bad. That's pretty good. All right. So, bringing us back to Gar, the trident in his hand is now illuminating to or uh, glowing to a point of a blinding light above or uh, emitting from the, above this uh, plateau in the center of this room. And he plunges it into the swirling orb. I'm in danger. <laughs> and water begins pouring from this orb quickly filling the room. Uh in the or in just the few moments that or a few seconds that passed, the uh water <clears throat> rises about six inches. In this room. And it begins... Uh, as the water thickens and thickens, it begins co coalescing next to this waterfall. Torin. Um, fuck? The waterfall that we came in on, right? Nope. Okay. Waterfall <laughs> coming from the node? From the north. Okay. Oh. Too far away for me. Yeah, can't even see fine. Okay, from the north. Got it. Mmm. There's still a gator down here, by the way. I didn't like this chanting. Chanting is never a good sign. Well, well, well. I am going to try and get rid of this water elemental. I don't want it playing any more shenanigans with me. So I'm going to use Poison Spray on it. That's what I was going to do if we were still stuck in it. Um, so that is a constitution save of 17. Of which it has disadvantage because of Hex. Uh, well, shit. That's going to be a dirty 20. So thanks to cantrip as part of my evocation spells uh, traditions he still takes half damage now this is a poison right uh, poison spray deals poison damage yes. so I'm fully expecting this to possibly not work at all can you poison water that's a thing as it, it all poison us <laughs> As the uh, spray kind of mists against the uh, against the water, um, it swirls up and dissipates through, seemingly dealing no damage. Fuck. Okay. Well, now we know poison doesn't work. Good to know. Uh, I have a feeling I know it's gonna work. So with that, I'm going to uh, turn my head towards a towards a drum. Um. And uh, give a little peace symbol and misty step. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I won't know if it's actual peace symbol or if he's saying two. So I'm just gonna be sitting there like two, two, <laughs> and then just gone. Should have you should have given him a little salute. <laughs> where are you, you going? Like, you, North. You did like the meme where you like faded out like that. Yeah. I've never seen, like, the Deuces. Just... <laughs> um, I'm gonna misty step north of um of the zuya so from where i currently am to right here oh god tom's asleep again tom oh god he's snoring he's snoring tommy boy tommy boy the pipes the pipes are calling <laughs> well, he leaned back. That was the problem. Yeah. Ugh. He does this every time. King Eric, who, I don't know where my phone is. What the hell? You can um, you can mute. Someone him. call him. 
like server mute him so we don't have to hear him snoring. So the ambiance. <laughs> It's like, oh god, the water elemental snoring. But yeah, I'm going to use my bonus action to misty step away from that situation. Um, that's sorry, bad. sorry, no, Atron. It's alright, it's alright. I came in to try to save you guys, and it's like, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. No, I, I'm going to move away. This is just fucking rude, Tom. Hmm. And uh, that's, that's going to be it for my turn. <laughs> Don't get bit a drum, please. <laughs> oh, it's it's. I think I'm just gonna be depressed for the whole week. Hira. Right, Hira's gonna step up into range. Take some swings with her. Twenty-three hits. Fifteen does not. Um. I think she's gonna divine swing. Oh, that was almost max damage from that divine swing. Nice. Oh my god. So it's 11 slashing, 15 radiant. I don't know what he's resistant to. Poison. Uh, he's immune to poison. <laughs> he is not waking up to this phone call. Yeah, yeah I called him too. Yeah. He zonked out. Yep, totally. All right. Ooh. So, Hira, as you uh, bring your halberd through the uh, water elemental, with it glowing um, radiantly, um, it slices through the torso of this, uh, of the water elemental, and it evaporates into a uh, Shining Mist. Damn. I guess I won't have to do that thing I wanted to do. Roger, Dodger. Now you can focus on the real bad guy. Before he He's summons something. another big baddie. I swear we to God. We can't see him. If he brings another water elemental. <laughs> That's resistant, like, all of my melee attacks. Alright. And so... Thomas! Can I stretch my movement to move back? It... It's really not supposed to be move, attack, move. That's, that's fine. I'm not that... Whatever. You can do that in 5e, not in Pathfinder. That's okay. Um, guess what? This is 5e. Well, where do you want to move? I mean, I know I can't climb because I would take an action, but I'm going to move as close to this platform as I can. Okay. We still can't see him, right? He's hiding behind the thing. He's not standing up. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. We forgot about the other two crocodiles. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, there's a crocodile down here that tried to kill Wub. You guys forgot about the crocodile. And it is well, a drum's uh, turn. It's coming yeah. for a drum next. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I'm gonna. Move. I feel like we should we should group up. Strong strength numbers. Fifteen feet. Ripping each shit, is... please. And then I'm going to target my boy down here. One shot this guy, please. I'm gonna attempt to. Let me see something real quick. Wait, where'd Prowler go? He's probably having a smoke break with wood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's been gone for like 15 minutes. Oh, I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> he left right after his turn. Oh. He's still got some time. Um, yeah. Alright, so um, I'm going to bonus action the hex down to my boy down here. Okay. Because um, I still can't see that dude. And then I'm going to do some We might have to get to like right there and maybe we can see him. I'm gonna do a couple Eldritch Blasts again. Go for it. Gimme gimme. L 
Eldritch Blast at some bitch. Ooh, that's a 27 hit. Nope. Yeah, it does. I would hope so. <laughs> For 18 points of damage. And he's still alive. All right, bud. Yeah, uh, you got two more turns before it's yours. A 15 does hit. Let's see. 14 plus 4 is 18. Okay. Nine damage. So, uh, no, 18 damage for first, and then 11 damage for second. So, 29 damage. Uh, seeing the blood or Wub's blood dripping off the off the lips of this uh, croc, Adram is just like, you know what? You're rude, and I beams this this croc into dust. Yeah, like as I'm running away, I do like that kind of like that over the shoulder look, and I just go pew pew Dude, with my eye, cool. with my eye, with my eyeballs. Given kick some background music. Appreciate it. And or that is, is one shots. The end of my turn. Okay. That brings yeah, us to Nimbus. Doing the elemental on this dude. Okay. Potentially, could Nimbus use shape water to make an upwards waterfall or a reverse waterfall, I guess? To be able to push him up towards this little ledge. <laughs> and Zuya can't say a word. <laughs> Can. Now, because of the swarm, can like would they would people see the insects? We can see it. It's yeah, just, okay. we're gonna we we gotta we gotta move through it unless yeah. you dismiss it. Okay. Yeah, he's fully willing to take whatever damage he needs okay. as long as he gets up there. <laughs> and you can, I believe, you can dismiss it even if you're in bear form. Yeah, I just stopped concentrating, but. Yeah. Um, you can I'm use just saying. So like, water yeah. form. If all of us are in there, yeah. you can decide. Okay, Direction. Cool. See, the so the you... Truckers... What you can do is basically create a five-foot cube uh, or five-foot tall cube and freeze it. Going upwards. Yeah, so it's kind of like you know, Breath of the Wild, freezing the block of bo block of uh of the water, and create yourself some stairs. And let's see, okay. if you or if you cast this spell multiple times, you can have no more than two of its non-instantaneous effects active at a time, and you can dif dismiss one as an action. So. The way it reads, you can use or make two a turn like that. So that won't, uh, that's not going to get him up there as fast as he wants. Um, so I guess, I think maybe I'll go with the original plan. Uh, say he were to use a real step. Uh -huh. Could he potentially just go straight up and through the middle of this thing? He can move through other creatures and objects as if they were difficult terrain and it will see and affect creatures. Of... Okay, so. Yes. But it lasts for okay. th uh, and it will last for three rounds, but it's counted as d difficult terrain. So once you get to the center and start essentially climbing it gets uh your movement speed is halves or halved mm -hmm. i know thank you for staying i appreciate it um 
so yeah, I think what what we're what we're gonna do is uh he's gonna cast a thrill step and he's gonna start moving I guess through so then he can go up. Okay. So that's gonna be five ten and then it's a twenty foot incline at difficult terrain. So what's your movement speed? He's got thirty. Thirty. So for funsies. Funsies. <laughs> you're able to make it to right underneath the node, but only your head is poking up out, out of the uh bottom of the rock or the top <laughs> of the rock right now. Good eye. Okay, I love that. Is the, I love uh, that. Is the swarm still active? It is, but in a the or it's in or he is in the ethereal realm at the moment, so it doesn't. Did I miss so my you turn? Just see, like ghosts out. <laughs> you guys just can see him. Um, the node thing is that a even higher than the? It's the... floating, yes, but it is current currently pouring water. Got it. All right. And. What did I miss? Um, Grave Nimbus got up the mountain. <laughs> Not Grave. Nimbus went up the mountain. Nimbus. Over Danny Phantom. Oh, yeah. shit. He said, go and go. <laughs> you guys never heard from him again. <laughs> what? No, it's poof. He, he's up in the node. Oh, shit. And that's going to be a... I'm in danger! Uh, 21 to buy the drum. Um, <laughs> of course that does hit. Oof. Uh, 11 damage. Understood. And that brings us to Wubba Lubba Kenai. All right. That damn wub. I'm going to put my uh, Hunter's Mark on the croc. Okie dokie. I baited him out for you, Wub. Good hunting. I killed the one that bit you, but this one's its brother. <laughs> you killed my dad! <laughs> <laughs> he was Mayo? my dad. <laughs> Oof, a net one. So, yeah, <laughs> both hit. Hey, even with a nat one, shit. It still rolled a thirteen. It's the worst of the outcomes, so you don't hit where, like where you want it to, but it still hits. Did it roll both of those? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Hey, 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 hey! Pay attention to Twitch. There, uh, Michelle DM. <laughs> We will get the Hunter's Marks. Um, I will re-roll that uh, one. Bam. Sweet. So 10, and then Let's see, 10, 9, 22, 12, 31. And then I will do the um, Gathered Swarm. So 33. Only a two. Yeah. Let's go. So aiming for Nine. its eyes... <laughs> God darn it! So aiming for its eyes, you fire off both of your crossbow or crossbow bolts. One embeds itself right in the eye, and the other one slides down its massive maw into its belly, into the belly, causing internal hemorrhaging in its gut, and it kind of just slumps under the water. In a drum, you feel some bubbles rise up at your ankles. Excuse me, I might have fought it. <laughs> he tooted. I pooted. Pure I starts waving her hand from her nose, but a drum! That was not the time. I got nervous, I'm sorry. And the sad part is, is he is a warlock, so I mean, that's very... That's a deathly fart. Yeah, they're silent, mm. but deadly. <laughs> very like curse. <sighs> <laughs> um, can we like drop Tom? Like, I feel bad that he's just sitting there on camera sleeping. 
I, what if he comes back? I don't have the can. Well, he can come back and. Well, here. Choose to come back. Just for just for a moment, let me switch over to the Discord camera so we can see him snoring. <laughs> yeah, he's oh, just. No. There you go. Look how comfy he looks. Though. I know, Look right? Yes, yeah, Kristen. <laughs> Hello. Oh, kind of rude. Dude, remember what we did last time? What was it? Please no. Something like that. <laughs> except, except we that makes warned the rest everybody. Of us go deaf. Yeah, we warned everybody, and people took off headphones. So. And <laughs> muted our stream. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna do it again. I'm warning you. No. Right, wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. No, we weren't supposed to be muted. Fuck! I fucked up. Oops. Okay. So, Zuya. Yes. Your turn. Okay. And I just said thank you, Chris, and I appreciate it. For the host. And I was trying to save... Penis, I can't do much of all of our ears. Because I am so big, is this still difficult terrain for me? Mm, kind As of. A giant bear. It still would be difficult terrain. Okay. Well, sort of. Thank you again. <laughs> I know you mean well. <gasps> okay. Break concentration. What? Moving breaks it? No. Break concentration. Oh, um breaking concentration i guess because everyone's gonna be climbing up there there you go well All i was right. gonna keep it one more turn and then break it can i break it in do i have to break it during my turn yes or can i break it anytime yes. oh shit yeah you have otherwise to break I it on your told, otherwise i would have told you to break it so i could move up there freely oh all right i'm breaking concentration okay only bear only bears. Oh no. Ooh, ooh. That means something. Oh, well. 
All right. So, Zoya, anything else for you? I can't do anything. Okay. So, as the water underneath the waterfall continues to coalesce, swirl, and pull um, more and more water from this chamber, um, and the uh, orb continues just gushing water um, in a steep waterfall around the uh, edge of this plateau, a figure starts to rise up. Out of the coalescing huh? waters. Another water elemental? Oh. Lucky. And as the uh -oh. water begins to uh, begin to take shape, these green dark eyes uh, kind of uh, form in the top of one of the waves flowing over it, or creating oh, a se seeming fuck. head and this creature in common says to Hira oh honey I'm more than just a water elemental and for your lovely viewing eyes this is what you see. Oh, hi. Isn't that oh, the fucking hi. water god? That freak ass cultist that we uh, interrogated all the way back then was onto something. Nimbus would uh, recognize this, correct? This is. Do you guys see, like, guys see, like the, the, the guy oh, at the bottom being uh -huh. inside of Hydra being fucking. fighting for his eaten. life. Yeah. And. I'm in danger. Uh... We're all in danger. Shit. Yes. Uh, I like water. You would recognize this person, Nimbus, at, or this, uh, as, and this was essentially the one that rel or uh held dominion over the plane of water. Um, and also subjugated your tribe uh, of blood hunters out to the outskirts. And as the uh, as Ol Ol Hydra takes form, um, two massive hands swirl and dip into the water adjacent to him. Or to her, sorry. And she pulls out bitch. mittens. She made mittens for all of us. Oh, it's a bitch. Ah. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's not what I want, is it? I don't like this anymore. I don't. I say we just uh, hip hop out of here. <clears throat> it away as it pulls its hand or uh as it pulls her hands out of the water two more elementals no begin or uh begin standing on either side and she brings these uh large watery hands together and squeezes and water rushes down um, in a uh, in almost like a vortex, and a third creature. Oh my gosh! What rises in front? Another what or another creature sw of made of swirling, coalescing water, but this one seeming or seemingly armored with uh, very heavy looking. Uh, shells forming plate armor. Well, well, well. Well, things just got interesting. Alright, everybody. I'll remember you all in the afterlife. 
I can't believe two of my characters are gonna die within two days. <laughs> I'm gonna vote for you. I'm glad not you Akira guys are planning on dying. I'm it. not. Ugh. Let's see what happens. Let's do this. We all reach for our little belt things and we turn into Power Rangers. <laughs> it's morphin' time. It's morphin' time. We're gonna we pilot connect. our own living god. <laughs> <sighs> So, dude, tear drops down, drops uh, down out of the stands, jumps uh, from the top rope. We can weekend at Bernie's, uh, Boris's body. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Like it's, just, it's just great that one of our biggest heavy we hitter melee. We can really use are, is Boris asleep. right now. <laughs> what can form the head? What the fuck, <laughs> Mom? And be perfect. at this point. Gar is going to uh, realize his spell has succeeded, and he's going to pull um, the trident or glowing trident out of the uh, swirling orb, and the water is going to continue to flow. Um, and he is going to take three large steps and then dive into the uh, now filling uh, room. So at the beginning of the combat, this room was filled with about two or two to three feet of water, depending on where you are now, closer to the, uh, pen or the little island, uh, it now stands anywhere from five to six feet in some parts. Damn. Or you asshole. Um, tried to kill him. And he we trusted him. And we could have just, we could have killed him back in that room, dude. He dives in and, uh, comes up uh, close to, uh, Olhydra, and says, uh, to Olhydra, like, my lord, I've, I brought you here, Th thank you, I, I've been waiting for so long to be able to actually, you know, be in your presence, I've, I've worked so hard and fought these crazy, whatever they are, adventurers, to bring, or, I threw them off my trail and I was able to bring them here, like, I, please, Help me take care of them in your name. And Olhydra is going to look down. He's about to murder the fuck out of him. And just bring one heavy... Thanks for ruining it. Uh, <laughs> it's predictable. Is it? Have you ever seen any bad guy movie where like they set like the like the freaking cultists summon like a big bad demon and the demon just goes Right, you? but do you just stand up in the middle of a movie theater and be like he's going to kill him? No, but I do whisper <laughs> to Joe. I do lean over to Joe. I'm like he's going to die. He's going to fucking kill him. So, but yes, he brings a big watery hand down on top of Gar and all of you hear a very sickly crunch as his body is just decimated under this heavy hand. Um, one Yikes. last person you have to fight. I feel kind of bad. My last words to him were calling him an asshole. <laughs> kind of was. An asshole. He just summoned all these things, so he kind of deserved it, Doran. Don't beat yourself up over it. And that does bring us to Torin. I was being facetious. I'm going to do what Torin does best. Of course, Let's I move myself away. the farthest away from everybody. <laughs> run away. Sorry. Is that what she said here? You're going to misty step away, or you're going to misty step to the high ground. That would be smart. Nah. Nope. I am, uh, I'm going to fireball. This is going to work for sure. But I'm going to try and keep it, um... Uh, let's see, it's a 20-foot sphere. So I'm going to focus it on this point right here. Hopefully I can get all Hydra, um, the water elemental to the west, and also this heavily armored being. Okay. Okay. So that is a dexterity saving throw of 17. All right. Oh, and here, let me show you this just to, so you guys know what you're dealing with. Please. Ooh. 
that's cool. That looks very nice. Oh, oh no, did I close out of his? No, I did not. Oh, let's hope I can turn him into a pile of steam. So it's water. It's a water elemental. Remedium. But with armor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. Okay. That's oh, pretty cool. So you need a dexterity saving throw from all of them? Uh, Just from this elemental, Alhydra, and the Myrmidian. Okay. Nice. So, Myrmidian first. Uh, I'll go ahead and roll the damage. That's a fail. Alhydra. <laughs> that's a success. I, I just wasted a good roll. <laughs> and then the elemental. What's the DC? 17? Okay, so the Myrmidian Mer and the elemental both fail. Got him. So 28 fire damage, and then hopefully uh, 14 after having it to uh, Alhydra. Okay. Massive steam rises up off of or uh, each of these creatures. And then that one. All right. That brings us to Hira. And again, at this point, in certain parts of this this area, you're now standing in either five to six feet of water. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, still fuck to do, except to go over to him. The uh, plat or the island is still relatively dry because it stands a little bit higher. Uh, okay. Then I will try and hop up onto the island. Okay. The athletics, right? Uh, so to climb up onto the plat or the top where the orb is would require an athletics, but just to you know move where you are, it would be perfectly fine to oh, okay. just step. I just wanna. I just wanna. I wanna wanna just. Get over to this edge over here. Okay. Like I don't, I don't want to get up, up. All right. So, and then from here, I think I can hit him. Cause I have reach. You do. Fuck me, that's not hitting. That is not. The 18 does. Whiffing both attacks and you uh, you use the butt of your halberd to uh, jam right into the breastplate of the uh, uh, Myrmidon. Or Myrmidian. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm doing like half damage or partial damage because they're fucking water and I'm just swinging a freaking halberd at them. <laughs> Fuck. I wish I had prepared the spells that made my weapon magical. Aren't you, or isn't your halberd already magical? Is it? It's a plus one halberd, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it plus one? It's magical. Oh, mm -hmm. fuck yeah! Okay. Yeah, my I've dude. Got, I've been salty this entire time, so I'm like, I'm like <laughs> she, you thought you were doing half damage the so whole, I was time. Half the whole time. So I was like looking for ways, like to like I was like looking at my spells. And I'm like, how should I, how should I, you know, ration out my spells, you know? All right, so that's movement. Looking them up the whole time. It just doesn't look like it because they're water. Mm hmm Water don't bleed. But does water get wet? Water is wet. Hey, old Hydra, no. <laughs> oh, Hydra! I made you wet. Hey, Smat. Can you get wet? What? Oh. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm gonna compel old Hydra to do me next. Technically, water can't make itself wet, so that's Easy, why she's wub. so salty. Huh? You're, you're no bard, Wub. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would love to see Wub try to pull off a bard move. Uh, Ryra or bleh, 
Wow. Sure. Riot. Hira, Hira is going to yell and challenge of them in the name of Tear. Let's raise her weapon and point at old Hydra. Okay. Not that they're going to acknowledge it, but here's just being dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Uh, let's see. Here, uh... Torn Arniatus. Yeah, no, he just reversed them. Switch that. And we're skipping Horus. <laughs> sure wish books were here. All right. Yeah, we kind of need his damage. What's What's Tom's middle name? Maybe if we yelled it out, maybe he'd think of his idea. mom is yelling at him. I wish. Yeah, I wish we had his mom's number. Call it used her to be. It, it, no. Yeah, it used to be that you could message Holly, and she has his home phone and could call his mom, and that would wake him up. But can't do that anymore. Thomas, Nathaniel. No, that doesn't sound yelling enough. Nathaniel. No. I don't. Yeah, know. where did you get Nathaniel? A drum. Here I am. Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Um, okay, so, um, I'm gonna, tr okay, let's, let's do this, I think, should we do this? Action. Yeah, we could do that. No. Yeah. So I'm going to move my Balti. Oh, no. I can do it from 90 feet. So I'm going to move the Hex to the big bad evil guy. Girl. Thing. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to um, hold out my hands and start rubbing rubbing them together and creating this flow of magic and that is um a meta magic thing to do a um twin spell okay um so i'm going to twin spell my eldritch blast and each eldritch blast can do two attacks so i'm attacking four times oof um, nice if i hit obviously so the first eldritch blast is going to be towards the big bad evil guy oh my god does a 16 hit against the hydra yeah does not roger the second is going to be against the Mirrodim right in front. That hits. Okay. And then... For the Mirrodim. 15 damage for the Mirrodim. Okay. And then the second round. Back to all Hydra. Are you serious? Which misses. And then back to the Mirrodim. Does a 12 hit? It does not. That was worthless of a turn. Okay, let's, um, I guess I'll move up there right, as well. And that is my turn. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Water Elemental here. Please. Let's see. Movement. Is going to uh... Damn, I forgot to do my extra radiant damage. It's going to uh drink itself down basically Ooh. and disappear underneath the water and then a whirlpool is going to uh begin in between Zuya 
and a drum, and it will rise up in between the two of you, and it's going to uh, bring its watery uh, hands down on both of you. Does Ain't that, a that bitch. An occur? Wait. Entering unless you or entering your uh. Yeah. Attack range does not. Leaving does unless you okay. have the sentinel feet. Oh, that's right. So that's going to be a 16 against the drum. That. And a 21 against Zuya. Oh, come on. <laughs> hit, right. Hit, hit. It hits both of you? Yep. All right. So for a drum, that's going to be a meaty 15 damage. And for Zuya, that's going to be another 15. Okay. All right. Bringing it up to the uh, Myrmidon. Mermaiden. Yep. Mermaider, mermaider, mermaider. Mermidian? Mermaider. Mermidon. Merminator. Um. The new Wendy's item. Mer. Term it is. Merglorglorglorgl. Terminator. All right. So, as it steps up to Hira, it is going to bring its trident back, and in a flurry of attacks. Fuck. Swipe or stab at you three times with uh its trident. And that's going to be a miss a twenty one that hits and a twenty. That meets it beats it. So let's see. Fuck me, dude. That's gonna be two six. And as the second strike um uh, that's going to be 12 damage um as the second strike uh approaches you watch as the uh trident gets this uh almost chilling sheen um Is he over it smiting me dude? and it's going to deal an additional 5 damage as uh yeah. uh as this, or the second strike of the uh, trident stabs into you and it freezes. Um, so your speed is now reduced by 10 until the uh, end of its next turn. Wait, his, his trident is stuck in me? Mm, it froze you. Ooh, woo. Oh, Fuck! Uh... Oh, yeah. Evaporating once again, this elemental is going to take the challenge and bring two meaty claw or uh, watery claws again down against Tira. That's going to be a miss. I want someone to love me as much as that water, uh, water elemental. Watermelon? Here. <laughs> now I'm hungry. Dang it. I think Kira's getting plenty of love. She might be the one to die tonight. You did kind of, you know... Bring up a challenge. For it. So... Well, that's Hira! Look what she's wearing. She's asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, 19 doesn't, doesn't hit. No. Alright, so both watery hands just uh, barely miss you. Nimbus. Uh, how, how much longer do we plan on playing? I've got four more people in the turn order, bud. So I'll call it at the end of or at the end of that, but I mean So let's get through these turns. Nimbus. Um So Nimbus can be on top of the the rock now, right? Yes. Not half assedly in between. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, um, she can be on top of spaghetti. Uh, well, here's my next here's... question. 
sorry, here's actually glad that the watermelon still attacked her. Because she was freaking out that one went past her. Because she's all about protecting her party. She wanted them all to attack her. Because she's suicidal. No, she, yeah. she's dumb. But, but now she's frozen and these things are wailing on her. So that's great. Nimbus. Uh, my next question is, would Nimbus know how to talk to Alhydra without getting yanked into the water like uh, old buddy boy did? He didn't get yanked, he jumped down. He jumped, yeah. No, like, his bones got yanked from him. Yeah. He nah. Dead, dead, dead. Uh... Maybe. I mean, you haven't had any kind of direct dealing with Alhydra other than, you know, with, uh, with the uh, Myrmidians. Understandable. Because they're usually the do? ones they uh, send out. I swear to God, right, this right. betrays us. I, I was meaning more of, like, from his past with his family dealing with Alhydra. Oh, uh, like, yeah. I, although he might have been young, would he still remember... Oh yeah, lots of right. lots of praise, lots of ego building. <laughs> right. So Nimbus is gonna he's gonna just like magically just fizzle back into existence up here. Um, kind of kind of walk to the edge right here, and just start talking with her, and he's gonna go, "Oh, sweet princess." How I have I haven't seen you in ages, but I know you from eons ago when I was just a young lad, and my family praised you and how great you were, and how you would do such great things for us, and our, we used to do so many things for you, giving you abundance of treasures that could never even begin to outshine your glory, and how. And he'll just, like, start rambling on, trying to get her to, like, maybe not remember him, but, like, remember his family. And he'll, like, start throwing in, uh, he'll start throwing in names of, like, his parents and his, his, uh, older siblings, um, that how Stratus had it gone across many, many a seas in the other world. And brought in you so many treasures and gifts and spilled so much blood in your name. Because glory be you. You are perfect. And there is no one higher than you. Are, are you saying all this in Primordial? Oh, of course you would. Uh, I mean, well, it awesome, doesn't make any difference. I can understand every word every... of that. I'm pretty yeah, sure no, everybody, everyone does. everybody in the party. Everyone does. Everyone does. He does not yeah. care. I hear Primordial, too. We all listen in. It. <laughs> We're yeah, all we like pretend like we not here. We're like, we established that a long time ago. Like every single one of us speaks primordial. Yeah, he knows this. He does not care. No, no, I was just telling the others because they were acting. Like, oh, oh, okay, okay. We all in this together. We're all in this together. I feel, I feel like Torin is eyeballing Nimbus, going, "I fucking knew it, dude. She's betraying us." He would never. Okay, so that long, compelling speech would probably be considered an action. No, oh, of course, of course. Anything else? Um, before I continue. Roll for persuasion. Don't kill what, us. <laughs> was it was it compelling? Yeah, he's he's gonna like kind of take a knee and be like, I have not much to offer. Except for two tridents, but may these be offerings to you to spare me and my friends. And then that that'll be the end of his uh his speech. I thought he was gonna say I have two tridents and these five other people. <laughs> Take them as seen as one of the tridents is technically it. tied to me or it. on me. He thought about it. That's what that pause was. He was like, do I want Tilt the head. This song, bitch. Have a good night. I'm probably going to be calling That's it here soon. Be... I knew it! <laughs> that song, bitch. Well, ain't that a bitch. <clears throat> so, seeing as it's not 
Olhydra's turn, you don't get much of it, or I'm not going to give much of a response, but the response Wait, you, you did get... Yes. The uh, response you do get is... <clears throat> Blood hunters. <sighs> the sound of their bones breaking. Oh, fuck, Nimbus. <laughs> Hide behind Hira. Hira's gonna die. Hide behind the giant bear. Hira will die. To Wubba Lubba. I'm not really sure who I want to attack anymore. Hi, friend. Remember that dagger I gave you? <laughs> I need that back. The bear you, you, is. You are definitely care. not the one he is con contemplating shooting. <laughs> you did not just praise the evil god trying to kill us. Oh, 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 oh. I meant the <laughs> trying to spare to, you uh, heard everything they were me. trying to spare it you heard it like that's if Wub believes a goddamn thing Nimbus says it's already established Nimbus is a liar oh yeah <laughs> all right so what do you want to do uh it's a lot a lot to contemplate But it's better to take out the god and then worry about Nimbus later. I will move my hunter's mark onto uh, this elemental down here by uh, me and a drum. Gotcha. Got it. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Now it's worked for me. Both hit. 13. Eleven. Well, my uh, hunter's mark hits. Mm -hmm. I will re-roll that too. Nice. And then my uh, gathered swarm. So two threes, and then another five. Twenty-four. Uh, Thirty-five with the re-roll. Seven thirty. Thirty-five. All right. Me likey. All right. Pretty sizable hole left. And that is going to be bring us to Zoya. Hokey dokey. This bear is a little pissed off that this water elemental tried to hit him. Well, hit him. So he's going to attack the fuck out of it. Okay. And don't forget, I have um, primal strike. Yep. Yeah. Magic attacks, baby. Mhm. Mm oh yeah. Oh shit. Twenty six hits. Twenty six hits. Remember, you've got Crusader's Mantle going. Oh, a crit with 27. Me. Okay. Uh, oh, I gotta do my maul. Yep, and what it, Crusader's Mantle awaken boldness until the spell ends. We are murder's crazy. Oh, it deals an extra d4, so after yeah. roll oh, 3 d4. Oh, I should have just, just rolled the damage. I don't know why it rolled it oh, as attack. He's over. out of range for the mantle. Just a little out of range. Ah, rip. Yep. So I did an extra 18 damage for my maul. Okay, so... If he let me... stepped forward, he would have been in range. Step forward! Five foot! A little late now. 18, Five foot. <laughs> 11. <laughs> 18. I, you, guys are, you guys are making this useless. No. Mm -hmm. it's just. I might have just well, killed it, it doesn't matter. Ah, 13. Or come close to it. Unless your claws are magic. 11. Damage, then I don't know. All my attacks are magic. All of attacks are. <gasps> really? Have, That's so fucking I have, cool. Uh, primal primal strike is all my attacks are magic in beast form. Yeah. That's Correction, insane. Though, we just killed it. Well, yes, we just killed it. I did the killing strike is what I meant to say. If you killed meant. it. Yeah, That's if I killed it. All right. So with this elemental still standing, fuck. Aww. Um, Aww. close though. The this or uh, Ulhydra 
Let me get rid of Gar, because he's dead, dead. Um, Ohydra is going to bring the two swirling hands back up and fire three large jet streams of water. And that's where we're going to end the session. Uh -hoo. Uh -hoo. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Damn, Walt, well, we came close to killing this motherfucker. At least one is going yeah. to Nimbus, if not all of them. Honest. With that last, uh, mm, Bloodhunter tasty remarks, like... I feel like... like I feel like maybe it'll be like one on Hera, two on Nimbus, or some shit like that. All right. So A twist. She hits her own. With sixty points of damage, I took a j big chunk out of that thing. Yeah. Fuck yeah. All right. Well, that is where we're ending the session this evening. Don't I... you do additional damage that though? That like it like That's the mall. whatever. Yeah, that's okay. the mall. Um, I appreciate you guys coming out for a uh, another fun night of uh, Princes of the Apocalypse, and uh, we'll pick back up on this next week. It was fun indeed. Oh, yeah. fuck, guys! We, we still we have still plenty of health and all that. I'm Let's... so pumped oh, yeah. to die next We're... week. Hmm? There's just a lot of things we gotta have to start. You know, oh, uh, once this up is dead, I can run to you and help you kill things. And then there's still Boris when he wakes up. <laughs> IRL I sleep. I'm, I'm busy with these two cool. things. I, I, a, I, I don't know what the fuck Hydra's gonna do. I've got... Whoa. Four level one slots. He just... Wait, did you kick Three him off a video? Slots. Yes, I did. Oh, okay. And I got one fifth level slot left. Yeah, as, oh, as the here. server... Master, whatever he can disconnect them. Oh, okay. Do mm -hmm. How many spells running low on spells left? there, Torin? Running low on spells that I think are useful. Oh, um, I'm running off spells. That... But thank you guys so much for coming out, and I really appreciate you coming out and enjoying this. Y'all have a uh, wonderful evening, and we'll see you next week.